Welcome to Que Golazo, Jonathan Osorio, Canadian International, Toronto FC. How are you, my friend? I'm good. I'm good. Thank you. Thanks for, for having me, guys. Jonathan, uh, LME, Luis Miguel Echegaray here with Michael LaHood. It's a pleasure to have you. First of all, Jonathan Osorio, congratulations. Felicidades. Canada, I'm telling you, what a team. Led CONCACAF, uh, won the group. And now you know your group, Jonathan Osorio. So how do you feel about it, first of all? Yeah, I think the the, the first thing that goes through your mind is, whoa, because it's it's a tough group. Uh, but uh, when you let it sink in, you know, you just you feel blessed that that this is even possible, that you're going against the best in the world. And and what, what more could you ask for when you're at a World Cup? So. Mm -hmm. Um, no, yeah, we, we know we have a tough group, but we, we are excited because we get to we get to um, prove ourselves against the best and really see where we stand. And, and I think mm -hmm. as a footballer, as a as a competitor, as an athlete, you want to see you want to be the best. You want to play against the best. And we have that opportunity in this group. Jonathan, I, I got to watch that match and everyone around the world got to watch that match where you guys sealed the deal and qualified and i think it was to sound ricketts was saying that he put i think five loonies on the fact that you were going to be the one to bang the drum and surely enough you were what was that moment like for you to be able to qualify with the canadian national team in your hometown oh it's, uh, i mean to say a dream come true is even crazy to say because uh, when you're a canadian kid you it's you're not even you don't even have the chance to really dream of things like that it's tough and it, it seems so something that just can ever exist exist but the fact that it happened is is an incredible feeling a blessing you know i've been truly blessed to play my whole career in my hometown uh to have had really great nights and and really great days at, at, at bmo field and to drum, to to do the drum, the bang the drum in front of my hometown in the middle of the pitch for qualifying for the World Cup with my country is is a moment that I'll take for the rest of my life. Uh, it'll take with me for the rest of my life, really. It's a dream, a dream come true. And um, yeah, that, that honestly, I, I don't have much words for it because it's just such an incredible feeling. Yeah, you don't need to, Jonathan Osorio. It was an amazing thing to see just this specific moment and how the entire nation, not just obviously Toronto, feeling the love, et cetera. Now, you listen, we've talked very high of Canada throughout the campaign. Uh, talent everywhere, effort everywhere. Can you just tell me, because it's all collected by John Herman. I, I just I'm such a big fan of, of this man who has done it both on the women's side and now on, on the men's side. How influential has he been? How is he as a man? Because we're not there in the dressing room. I don't know what he's saying to you. How is he as a manager? Oh, he's he's amazing. He's amazing. There's nobody can say a bad word about this guy. It's impossible. How could you? It's um, to see what he has accomplished. To see what he has gone, had to gone, to see what he has ha had to gone go through is incredible. Because um, he had to start from the bottom. In fact, I don't want to say from the bottom, but he had to start from. He he had a different journey than most managers, and um, you know his, his way into football was through. Uh, you know he saw a vision of of going through women's football, and and he brought Canada. To the top there or started to bring canada to the top there and, and yeah. put in a foundation so that uh they could at one point win you know an olympic gold medal and then to switch over to the men's and with all the you know nobody expected him to do what he has done and 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 you know and and to see that he has believed in himself and believed in, in us and instilled a belief and a culture in us that this program has never seen before is is a testament to to the manager that he is he's a great manager i feel now finally he is getting the credit that he he has deserved for a long time and and it's all due it's it's it's, it's overdue really it's overdue and um 
I have nothing but great words to say about John Herdman as a, as a manager and even more so as a, as a person. Great stuff there, Jonathan. I know Michael's going to ask one in a second, but we this is a live event right now, so we got a lot of fans uh, watching and listening, and, and Brandon had a question for you specifically. Uh, who are you most worried about uh, from Belgium? Just if you're facing that Belgian national team, are you <laughs> are you pointing at somebody specifically, Jonathan? Sorry. I will... F- for me, I think as a team, we got a lot of we got a lot of guys that we have to pay attention to on that team. But um, if you ask me personally, being a midfielder, the one, the one and only, you know, that we're gonna have to really pay attention to is Mr. Kevin De Bruyne. Of course, this is arguably the best midfielder in the world, um, playing at one of the best teams in the world. Um, so yeah, he is their he is their top guy. I feel and. He is the guy that gets them ticking. So we have our hands full in the, in the midfield. Not only with him, um, you know, they have a great midfield, but he is the, the, the main man for them, in my opinion. Mm. One of the things I remember is a former player is going to Toronto, a.k.a. the Six, and seeing how much of a soccer city and soccer town that, that really is and, and is becoming with moments like this. As a Canadian national team player, has – your visibility, especially being from Toronto, are people stopping you in the street asking for <laughs> what? What has that been like? Because that that is monumental. Yeah, no, it's 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 grown over the years. Each year, it's more and more. Really, um, I, I'm I'm not gonna sit here and lie to you and say that it's like walking in Milan and you you can't walk anywhere. No, no, no. People here, I think, are are we're very respectful and. Uh, 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 you know people's business and stuff like that, and and but yes, I am getting recognized more and more, and that's because of the growth of the sport in the city. And now with qualifying for Canada, the amount of messages I'm getting and recognition is 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 incredible. It's incredible. It's really a dream, and you know I, I love it. It just what it means is that the sport is growing here, and it's growing rapidly, and and. I don't see it dying down at any point. I really don't. I, I think it, this is a, a change, the change in the history of, of football in this country and in the city, especially. Um, it's it's incredible. So, uh, yeah, I'm, you know, for me, I, I just with everything, with all the recognition is amazing. But I, I, I am focusing on being humble and keep working hard and knowing where where I came from, because at the end of all that, that that's what's most important is that me as an example for for kids that that now are dreaming so so big and bigger than I've ever dreamed is to be that example for them, and so that's what I'm focused on. Yeah, one hundred percent. It's not dying down; it's the complete opposite. It's going to keep going and growing and growing, and that's a great thing to say. You mentioned Jonathan, obviously, where you come from. Uh, you know, I'm Peruvian, and I have to. Bring this up. Surely there's mixed emotions in the Osorio household con los cafeteros. Was there a little bit of disappointment there with Colombia not making the World Cup? Yes, of course. You know, as Colombians, we wanted, we always want Colombia to do well. And and I still support the La Selección Colombiana. Um, You know, I think it was very unlucky, their campaign. You know, they actually, uh, they lost the second least. They had the second least uh, amount of losses in the campaign but mm. i think just a few games they couldn't get the the three points instead of the one and and in the end that was the difference but um yeah it sucks that you know we, we it would have been nice to see colombia in the world cup and and even a dream would have been to get drawn in the same group of them as them but you know oh my it, god it, jonathan how would that would have been in the house who would have like surely the, the parents would have gone more for colombia no <laughs> mom, nah, mom, nah, mom so. would have gone for canada pop for <laughs> colombia <deep>. yeah <laughs> no that would have been that would have been incredible that would have been an incredible <laughs> uh dilemma to have had yeah um unfortunately it will not happen but maybe for good maybe for good now everybody can <laughs> everybody can just focus on canada and and you know i will do my best you know if if people in colombia want to support canada now because of my roots that that also is an incredible incredible uh, feeling 
Absolutely. We got another one from a from a viewer here. Uh, we're here with Jonathan Osorio, Canadian National Team Toronto FC. Nearly done with you. Don't worry, compa. Uh, the Added Time Podcast. Jonathan, which is better, Tim Hortons or, or Arepas con Queso? Now, be smart here, Jonathan, because you know the right answer, Jonathan Osorio. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, my God. This is an amazing question. Um <laughs> And a hard answer, I, I, it's hard to pick. Uh, there's two different, there are two different kind of things, I think, but it uh, uh, depends. I think it depends on the situation. I honestly, I, I can't pick because arepas con queso for me is, is, is Come on my, now. It, it's <laughs> my guilty pleasure. Jonathan maybe, Jonathan, maybe it's arepas con queso at Tim Hortons. Maybe that. Oh, <laughs> no, there we go. Not up con queso with a with a nice coffee from Tim Hortons would be would be perfect. <laughs> That's, perfect That's perfect. awesome. <laughs> Go ahead, Michael. Uh, I know that you have one more for Jonathan. Yeah, J Jonathan, is something that you said about John Herdman. You said the uh, phrase "start from the bottom," and I'm going to finish it. Now we're here, and you know who I'm referring to, Drizzy. <laughs> yes, sir. Yes, sir. On your on <laughs> on your playlist. What is your go-to Drizzy song? Because I, I know the TFC players got to have one. But what was your what was your go-to Drizzy song ahead of that match to qualify? I just got to know. Honestly, it's crazy. Um, I'm glad that you asked this question because the one question, the one song that I kept listening to was called, uh, it was a, f a way back, a way back, one of Drizzy's old, old songs um, when he was coming up. I think it was on, I think it was on comeback season. Uh, it's called Closer to My Dreams. And uh, yep, it's, I, yep. it just resonated with me during this time. And so I listened to it before every game, Closer to My Dreams. And that's really good, what got me going. So anybody who do doesn't know that song, give it a listen and you'll understand what I, what I mean. Surely you had some... Uh... Some J Balvin in there too, or some uh, or some reggaeton as well, Jonathan. I'm sorry, that is, oh, there's no way. Of course, how can I not? How can I not? Especially before a game, like I gotta get the all that, all that. Some in, Bunny in there as well. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. yeah hey, Lu Luis went to a Bad Bunny concert, didn't you? Yeah. That well, of course, he's my he's my king, man. He's everybody's yeah. king in, in Latin America, <laughs> absolutely. But Jonathan Osorio, we want to finish it with you by just congratulating you. Honestly, CBS Sports is a U.S. based uh, podcast, but you know I have no dog in this fight. Every time I saw Concacaf qualifiers, all I wanted to do was root for Canada. Same colors as Peru as well, by the way. So I was just like, <laughs> you got to root for Canada. But honestly, it's an amazing thing to see Canada at the World Cup, and I hope you get to face against Kevin De Bruyne and maybe not make him and, and do some stuff, <laughs> but like it's, it's going to be great. Muchas gracias, Pa. We thank you so much for being here. Thank you, guys. Uh, a pleasure to, to come on. Thanks for having me.